Hi, welcome to another look at giving. I'm Chikudun. Today we're going to look at one of the questions that bothers around giving. People usually ask, should I borrow to give? Is it right to borrow to pay my vow, to pay that pledge? Is it right to borrow to do that? I'm going to start with this. Though the Bible is not entirely against borrowing, guess what? The Bible does not encourage borrowing. That's the truth. The, man, the Bible says, oh no man, anything. And like I've thought previously, the borrower is always a servant, is always subject to the lender. I don't think that God wants his people to be subject or slaves to other people. I don't think that is his intention. His intention is that every man should be a free man. And whenever you borrow, like I told you before, the man that gives, is, his hand is always above the one that receives. That doesn't mean that once in a while in your life, you will not need people to give you things. Huh? You will need people to help you. That is the truth. When it comes to borrowing, I'm not fully in support of borrowing. That is my own opinion. I believe that if you want to borrow, let it be for investment. Don't borrow to spend. You borrow money, you're going to pay back and possibly with interest to spend. It's robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's robbing your future. And it's not really intelligent to take away from your future. Because your future marks a period usually when you are not as strong as today. As you age, your strength reduces. That's what I mean by that. So if you are borrowing today to pay back tomorrow for something that will not give you the money with which to pay back your debt, it's not really intelligent. It's not really brilliant. So is it also good to borrow to pay a vow? I don't think that God will want you to do that. The Bible is so clear about vows. The Bible made it clear in Ecclesiastes 5 that if you are in church, be ready more to listen to the word, like I'm giving you the word now, then you are ready to make a vow to God. Even God is putting a caveat on making vows to him. Do you know why? He takes vows serious. He takes your pledges to him serious. He's going to hold you up to it. So be careful before you make a vow, before you make a pledge. Remember the man that went to fight on behalf of the children of Israel and said that the first thing that walks out of my house I'm going to sacrifice as thanksgiving to you Lord and guess who walked out of his house his only daughter and what did he do he had no choice than to sacrifice his only daughter to God because God takes vows serious and I don't believe that God will want you to borrow to pay your vow and someone, somebody might say eh, if God takes vows serious that means he will not be annoyed if I borrow to pay my vow so I'll be free from that no, that is why God says, before you even make the vow, listen, think about it first. First, be sure that what you're about to say to God, you will be able to fulfill it. And the key verse regarding this vow issue about borrowing to pay your vow is in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12. The Bible says, state that clearly in verse 12. So before you give, let me be of a willing mind. The first it will be accepted according to what you have, not according to what you don't have. So does that mean you should not even make a vow at all? No, it doesn't mean that. You see, in a lot of places in the scripture, where vows were made, a very popular case is Samuel. Uh, his mother, Hannah, said, Father, if you give me a child, I will give that child to you. I found that in Christian communities that when people make a vow, God will start giving them in accordance to their vow. They say, Father, I will give you so so and so when I have it. The mistake they make, and because they don't fully understand God, is that they wait till that entire amount comes to them before they give it. God will usually want to see how serious you are. And truly, if you were serious when you made that vow, any money that comes into your hands should go towards that payment and God is watching the money will be trickling in and he wants to see if truly you honor him and you take him serious you take his word serious you may be you made a vow of 100 pounds you might get one pound first God will watch would you give the one pound would you give a portion of it towards you know paying down your vow he will bring 10 pounds he will watch would you give something out of that 10 pounds towards paying your vow and the more you do it, the more God increases what you receive. That's how it's done. So people mistake that giving, making a vow of 100 pounds 
will come in bulk as £100 and they will wait for the £100 and the £100 will come and they will default on their vow. So, when you make a vow, start making that payment towards it, no matter how little. That shows God you honor Him and you respect Him. But to borrow, to pay a vow, I'm struggling to see that in my Bible. Because anyone that is owing does not know rest. I don't know if you've borrowed before. You don't know rest. I have borrowed before and I was really, really, really stressed out. I was really, really, really... Um, uh, my peace was taken away from me. Because your creditor will keep calling and calling, disturbing you and harassing you. I don't think God wants that. So, my summation on this question is, don't borrow to pay a vow. The only time I will advocate borrowing is only when you want to invest, maybe in your business or something that will yield a return. Maybe you want to buy a property that you know will yield a return. Then, I will advocate borrowing. But outside that, please don't borrow. I'll see you at the next one.